Good morning, friends. We are so glad you're joining us today. We are now in the eighth week of our series on the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit we are talking about today, it's not like the kind we eat. The fruit of the Spirit is things like kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit helps us to become more like Jesus. And then we have the fruit of the Spirit. So let's see what fruit we're going to learn about today. Today, we're going to talk about gentleness. So when I count to three, let's say gentleness all together. Ready? One, two, three. Gentleness. In our story today, Barnabas showed God's gentleness to Paul, even when other people were not. When people were not sure about Paul because of what he had done in the past, Barnabas was kind and compassionate to him. Barnabas stuck up for Paul because he had seen that God had changed Paul. And just like Barnabas, we can show gentleness to others too. Gentleness is being kind and compassionate to the people around us. When we are friends with Jesus, he will help us show gentleness with what we say and what we do. So let's go ahead and stand up so we can sing and dance for Jesus.
job singing and dancing. Now, I have something that I want to show you. Who knows what this is? Yes, it's the Bible. The Bible is a special book because it's God's book. There are a lot of stories in the Bible, but today I want you to hear the story of Barnabas. In this story, Barnabas showed gentleness to others, even though the people around him were not. So now let's put on our listening ears and hear our Bible story. Slapstick Theater Paul and Barnabas This is Paul, who once hated the followers of Jesus and would do anything he could to stop them from telling others about the good news of Jesus. But Paul met Jesus in a miraculous way, and his life was changed forever. Wow! He went from hunting down the followers of Jesus to being one of them himself. Yeah! All right! When Paul was in Jerusalem, he tried to meet with the believers there. Oh, I got way up! But they were all afraid of him. Oh, man! They did not believe he had truly become a follower of Jesus. Yeah, Paul, follow me. Then a man named Barnabas brought him to the apostles and told them about how Paul had seen the Lord and how the Lord had spoken to Paul. Yeah, it's true. He also told them that Paul had preached boldly in the name of Jesus in Damascus. Hey, okay. So Paul stayed in Jerusalem with the followers of Jesus. He told many people about Jesus and they came to follow Jesus too. Paul and Barnabas went to do special work for God. Yeah! They preached the good news about Jesus in many places until they both went separate ways to tell others about Jesus. Barnabas had the fruit of the Spirit. He showed gentleness to the people around him by choosing to be calm. Even if we disagree with someone, we can still choose to show gentleness. And when we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works to make us more like Jesus. And we then start having the fruit of the Spirit. And the fruit of the Spirit, it's not actual fruit like the kind we eat. It's things like kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness. And we know that because of our Bible verse. But wait, it's all covered with bubbles. Can you help me pop them all so we can see our Bible verse? My neighbor looks sad, tired, or confused when a friend is mad. I said something rude. God gave us some seeds that can grow into fruit. A life full of love, grace, and truth. I got love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self control. God's love shown to all the world. I got love, joy, peace. Patience, kindness, goodness. Faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control God's love shown to all the world Good job popping the bubbles. Look what you did. Now we can see our Bible verse. And it says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. That Bible verse tells us about the fruit of the Spirit, and we're able to have the fruit of the Spirit when we follow Jesus. I think we need a little more help to understand how we can show gentleness to people around us. So I heard that Winston and Melly are having some fun adventures at Skepton Farms, and they're going to help us learn more about the fruit of the Spirit. So let's make sure we're ready to listen and learn. Put on your listening ears and your thinking caps. And let's join Winston at Scuppeton Farms. Got it! Now where's Megan? Megan, I'm here and I have coffee! <gasps> what sound was that? Oh, the rooster! Hey there, Lancelot! What animal was that? Oh, a cow! Hey, Melly.
Molly, did you hear the animals this morning? Yes, and I said hello to all of them. That's so nice of you. Oh, and you brought some coffee? Thank you. Sure thing. I love to do nice things for you guys because I'm just so glad I get to work on the farm for harvest season. Molly, something isn't right about this coffee. Wait a minute. I know what happened. I was making the coffee right next to where Bestos was soaking his socks. I must have gotten the two mixed up. Molly, be honest with me. Is this sock water? Yep, definitely sock water. Hey, Bacon, what's that? They're eggs. Hatching eggs, actually. I got them from another farm. You mean these little eggs are going to hatch into baby chicks? That's right. In 21 days, these little eggs are going to hatch into baby chicks. Wow. First, there's something we have to do. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, I remember. We have to sit on them first. No, Melly, we don't sit on them. A mother hen will sit on the eggs and take care of them until they're ready to hatch. Here's the important thing we need to remember, Melly. We have to be very careful and gentle with these eggs when we move them because they're fragile. Gentle. Got it. Wait, what does that word mean? Gentle. Well, with these eggs, we can be gentle by moving them slowly and carefully. Did you know that gentleness is the fruit of the Spirit? The fruit of what? Well, when we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works and helps us be more like Jesus. Then we start having the fruit of the Spirit. But it's not like fruit like we grow on the farm. It's fruit like gentleness. Oh, okay. So how do I have the gentleness fruit? Well, God will help you be kind and compassionate. I think you already showed that, though, gentleness. How? Well, you were so kind and compassionate to the animals on the farm. You say hello, and you help them with whatever they need. Oh, what about with people? How do I be kind and compassionate with people? Well, if someone is having a bad day, you can cheer them up by saying a kind word, or praying for them, or helping them. That's compassion and kindness. So that's how I could show gentleness to a person who's having a bad day? That's right, Melly. Are the eggs having a tough time? No, but we can show gentleness to the eggs and the chicks they're gonna become by oh. taking care of them and helping them hatch safely. I think I get it. Gentleness is a way of acting kind and compassionate to people because we care about them. Yep, just like God is patient and kind with us. He loves us so much, even when we make mistakes. I sure do want to be gentle with these eggs. Well, you can show gentleness to others too. I'm gonna start by getting you a real cup of coffee. Thanks, that would be great. <laughs> you bet. And you be gentle with the eggs while I'm gone. I will. They're so fuzzy. Oh, I almost forgot, your coffee. Sorry, it took 21 days. There was a sock incident. That's so. Yeah, but it's okay. Let's just play with the chicks. Gently though. That's good, Melly. Just like Megan said, God will help us to be kind and compassionate to others. If we know someone who's having a bad day, we can use kind words to cheer them up, and we can also pray for them. When we follow Jesus, the Holy Spirit works in us to make us more like Jesus, and then we can have the fruit of the Spirit like gentleness. So this week, remember that gentleness is being kind and compassionate to others. And no matter what, we can always choose to sh show gentleness to the people around us. So let's gather our family around and use this time to pray. Thank God for the fruit of the Spirit and ask Him to help you remember to show gentleness to others. Take this time to pray and I will see you in about a minute. We have learned so much about the fruit of the Spirit and how we can show gentleness. Remember, gentleness is being kind and compassionate to others. We love you all and we can't wait for next week when we learn about the last fruit, self-control. So everyone, hope you have a great week. Bye.